Hello tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Foxtech. In this video, I'm going to be talking about blocked messages on your iPhone because there are some things you need to know about. I'm going to explain to you how it works. So let me just get started. First of all, you should know that you can actually view the contacts that you have blocked on your iPhone. Because if you don't block anyone, then all messages just get through to you. They all show up inside of the messages app. But in case you have blocked someone, you can always check it out who is blocked. So go to the settings, open up the messages. And if you scroll down a bit more, you should be able to see the people that you have blocked. So you can see blocked contacts right there. If you go ahead and tap on it, you can see a list of all the people that cannot send you any text messages. So only from those people you may have received or only blocked messages can be from these contacts. So you have to keep that in mind. Also, if you want to revert that, you can always just swipe left on it and unblock the contact. So this is a way to change your mind or you can choose the edit and unblock them like this. So that's an option as well. However, you should also know some other different things. Here on iPhone, you cannot natively just check out which messages have been blocked. For this, you're going to have to use carrier options. So what you'll have to do is to consult your carrier. Let's say that you use AT&T, Sprint or whatever it is. And you can always just access your account within that carrier, depends on how it works. You may need to contact them for more information, but the way it works is that carrier locks might retain the records of all the messages that you have received. So if you go to, for example, Verizon, you can always just contact them or just search it up right away. So you can just look up your carrier name and you can see the messages logs, wait for it to load up. And you can see that you have to go to Verizon website, log in, and you will see the account, then text like this, and you can see how to view text messages history from Verizon. Downloading your mobile text and a data usage. So it is possible to download the logs. And if not, at least the least thing that you can do is to ask and get in touch with your carrier and they are going to be able to tell you how it works or if it's possible to begin with. But you cannot really see them right away. You cannot see the blog messages inside the iPhone settings. You can check it out by using the carrier. So that's one what I wanted to explain in this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and informative. For more content and tutorials like this one, make sure to hit the subscribe button and we can see each other in the future. Peace out, guys.